It's time for From the Short Grass, presented by UAMS Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine with Cray Shap. A golf podcast for those who love golf, struggle with golf, and just like to enjoy the outdoors and fellowship with friends all while chasing a ball around, trying to put it in a four and one quarter inch diameter hole. From the Short Grass is presented by UAMS Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. And brought to you by Stevens Incorporated, an independent financial services firm with the freedom to focus on what matters most. Beachwood Pinnacle Hotels. We partner with you to deliver high-yield results by managing, developing, and investing in top-quality hospitality assets. And now, from the short grass, here's your host... Welcome to another edition of From the Short Grass, presented by UAMS Health, Orthopedics, and Sports Medicine. I am your host, Trey Schapp. The Simmons Bank Championship is coming October 21st through the 27th at Pleasant Valley Country Club. This week's episode is totally different than others. You're going to hear from George Macris. You're going to hear from Freddie Black. You're going to hear from Kaylee Beecham all about the Simmons Bank Championship. You're going to hear from Chris Mays, the director of golf at Pleasant Valley. You're going to hear from Don Armbrust who is the superintendent at Pleasant Valley as they get ready for this Simmons Bank Championship. The Simmons Bank Championship, presented by Stevens, will play host to the top 54 players on the second stop of the PGA Tour Champions playoff schedule with the top 36 advancing on in the Charles Schwab Cup Championship. You don't want to miss your chance to be part of this inaugural professional sports event here in Little Rock while supporting the community as well. Go to their website, SimmonsBankChampionship.com, for ticket information. On the tee, tournament chair of the Simmons Bank Championship, presented by Stevens, Freddie Black. Freddie, can you see the finish line? We uh, we're this. almost <laughs> there, aren't we? We're almost there, Trey, and it's uh, it's not without a lot of anxiety. I can tell you that. A lot of things are coming together. Uh, everything's on time. We've got tickets to sell. They told me early on that most tickets don't sell till the last three weeks. Well, we're looking at the last three weeks. I don't know of a more beautiful setting for a golf tournament than PV. Fun for the whole family. So we're excited. We, we, uh, we want it to be a big party for Little Rock. If there are people out there that are apprehensive about it, what would you say to them that would ease their mind a little bit to, okay, yeah, I do want to come and witness history? It's a welcoming environment. It's going to be kid fun it's gonna be stuff to eat it's a beautiful place just to come take a two-mile walk around the golf course and just if you're curious to, uh, what goes on come see and uh, you'll run into people you see at church or at school or at work uh, I think we'll have a great cross-section of the community here every day it seems like new names get added as to players that are committing to being here. And you've got the international captain of the President's Cup, Mike Weir, who's yeah. committed. Padraig Harrington's committed. Ernie Els, who's leading the point standings right now, is committed to being here. They're big-time names. I was worried about that, Trey, because some of these guys at the top of the points list could still go to the finals and skip this tournament, but they chose not to. We only have one of the top ten that's not – committed and that's steve stricker i understand he's got a bow hunting trip so i forgive him for that <laughs> but, okay uh, uh we have the rest freddie can you go back to when george Mackers first approached you about this event and to now and think how are we going to get here but here we are <laughs> i can't tell you uh, you know how ominous that was at the time because i really didn't know what i was getting into and uh I certainly have a lot of confidence in George, and um, we work well together. So it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lots of uh, decisions to make. Uh, we've spent a lot of time together. I've spent a lot of time with the Pro Lynx team on a daily basis. So I've been drinking golf from a fire hose for sure, and my banking job's kind of taking a back seat. But that's okay. we got good people running the bank. So the golf tournament's taking a priority in a lot of our lives. I think a lot of people – want to know about parking because they look at Pleasant Valley and where it is. How are you going to get all the fans in here? We have parking lots in the neighborhood that are rented, FIS, the Baptist Church, Pulaski Academy. So there's areas around the park. You just have to be patient and grab a shuttle. There'll be maps available online of where the parking lots are. And the most remote parking lot is at Top Golf, but there'll be shuttles running from there, which is an easy place for people on the 
on the south side of town, a town to get to and catch a bus. So mm-hmm. we're spending a lot of money on transportation. You just got to come knowing that you got you got to be patient getting there and spend the day and have fun. What are you looking forward to most? The first player to tee off. Okay. Lieutenant Colonel Dan Rooney is going to hit our ceremonial first ball. So I'm wanting to see that happen <laughs> and and get get it going. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the seven-day forecast about the 20th of October. <laughs> but, Hopefully it's a good one, kind of like really, this week. <laughs> yeah, I like to feel like we're at break even right now, Trey. We've covered the cost of putting this event on. Any any ticket sales, hospitality sales the next three weeks will be, be the money we have to give to charity. And that's so, what it's all about. That's what it's all about. That, in the end, that's what we want to do is make a difference here in Little Rock and Central Arkansas. Now on the tee, Associate Tournament Director of the Simmons Bank Championship presented by Stevens, Kaylee Beecham. Can you see the finish line? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not quite. If, if you work in this world long enough, you really start to realize that like it starts to feel like a golf tournament's happening when the logo mesh goes up on the structures. That everything else, like, yes, the golf tournament's coming, we're building, we're, we're growing, all the stuff that goes out on the golf course. But to me, it's like it's it's happening, and the finish line is near when the, when the logo mesh goes up. How much sleep are you getting these days? <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> My brain cells are showing it these days. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're working pretty much 12-hour days every day right now, um, if not longer, to try and kind of make this whole thing come to life. But um, it's, it takes a village. It's not just me. It's, it's the entire team that kind of makes this whole thing come together. Miguel Angel Jimenez mm-hmm. has committed, yep. along with Darren Clark. Bigger names. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think we, we've got nine of the top ten right now committed, and we expect it to stay that way. Um, I think our Kansans can relate and understand that, you know, it's, it's uh, Steve Stricker, our friend Steve Stricker, who's towards the top of the, the ratings. Um, he he has a hunting trip planned oh that my weekend. Gosh. I know. It's really a shame. Um, he could hunt here in Arkansas know, while he's I, down here playing golf. I said somebody's got to invite him to Stuttgart, and we'll be just fine. <laughs> um, so, you know, we, we expect the nine of the top ten to continue to, to be in our field. And, um, you know, right now we've, we've pretty much got everybody else locked up as well. So it's a really strong field, and we're excited about it. What would you say to just a general f- sports fan that has never been to a PGA Tour event what could they expect coming out here? Yeah, I think part of the reason I love this game and the reason that I love running golf tournaments is it's the only sport that you can get up close and personal with with the players. Um, and it doesn't matter how much money you have or what kind of money you spent on your ticket. In fact, you actually get closer if you spend $30 for a grounds ticket um, than if you're up in a hospitality suite. But, you know, you you see the kids lining the the rope line um, and they get to have this first class experience interacting with, with PGA Tour professionals um and that's that's something you can't get in any other sport um so you know it's it's going to be a great time for for families out here we're going to have a lot of activities a lot of fun stuff to do but it's a great way to spend a a friday saturday or sunday so you can see the finish line yes we're just not there yet yes until the logo mesh goes up the finish line is not quite there yet but yeah we're getting there hello this is justin acree when you think about total joint replacement you should think of the orthopedic and spine hospital at uams health this great new facility has the three best total joint surgeons in the state with lowry barnes jeff stambo and ben stronach why would you consider going anywhere else folks come to uams health from around the country to have their joints replaced you should too Call 501-686-TOSH to schedule your appointment today. That's 501-686-8674. The doctor will see you now. Heading to El Dorado to check out some live music or to play Mystic Creek? Stay at the Haywood, the only boutique hotel in the middle of downtown and the Murphy Arts District. If you are spending a weekend in Hot Springs, make plans now at the Marriott Courtyard close to Lake Hamilton and Oakwan. Beachwood Pinnacle Hotel Group manages both of these fine properties and you will rest easy knowing that your every need is taken care of. Beachwood Pinnacle Hotels on the web at bphotels.com. Welcome back to this edition of From the Shoregrass, presented by UAMS Health, Orthopedics, and Sports Medicine. Did you know they are dedicated to keeping you in the game? From sports injuries to joint replacement, they provide world-class care right here in Arkansas. Call 501-686-TOSH to schedule your appointment today and get back to living pain-free. Now I continue my preview of the Simmons Bank Championship coming up later this month 
with the director of golf of Pleasant Valley Country Club. On the tee, Chris Mays. Chris, can you see the finish line getting ready for this inaugural Simmons Bank Championship at Pleasant Valley Country Club? Uh, we can see it. There's a lot of things to do before it gets done. And obviously with a first year event, there's a little bit different challenges. You know, this is something that we haven't done here before. So putting some different touches of how things go and where things are, are supposed to be is is been challenging but we're there we're looking forward to having a great event you have been at a pga tour site before where you worked at tpc southwind that hosted the fedex st jude year after year after year how has that experience helped you in getting ready for this one i thought it would help me a lot and and it certainly has in a lot of areas the biggest difference is a it's been 24 years ago right and so the last time i worked a pga tour event we didn't even have email so that's been a challenge. So the biggest difference I would tell you is that every event that I've done has been an established event for a number of years. The challenge is, is that this is a first year event on a golf course that hasn't hosted a PGA Tour event. And so, you know, those other events, the first couple of years, you figured out what worked, what didn't work. And so by the time I got there and doing the event, we, you already knew the problems were already solved. So... Here it's trying to identify the problems that you may or may not have and, and try to come up with the best solution before they become problems. We're sitting in the renovated clubhouse. It looks beautiful. Has it met or exceeded your expectations? It has certainly met my expectations. In a lot of ways, it has exceeded my expectations. I think that the best thing that I could tell you is you get renderings before a clubhouse or a big project like this. And in most cases, the actual product doesn't look near as good as the renderings looked. And in a lot of cases, this one looks better. So I'm very proud of that. I'm very thankful to Clark Contractors and SEM Architects for really putting a lot of work into making this done. And, and you have a lot of our board members that have been on site almost every day making sure things get done the way they're supposed to get done. You know, obviously there's a big punch list left to do, so we're certainly not finished but it, we're really excited about what we have right now. Chris, when did it hit home that Pleasant Valley Country Club was going to host a PGA Tour Champions event? Probably when we were approached back in March of 2023 of, okay, this is going to happen. We felt like it was going to happen, and, and the feedback we got from, we received from the PGA Tour champions and, and certainly the excitement of Simmons Bank and Mr. Macris, you knew at that point it was going to happen, but you just had to figure out how. How many times a day do you get asked questions about the tournament coming up? As we get closer to the tournament, that, that exponentially <laughs> increases. Um, at first, obviously, when the tournament was announced, there were a lot of questions. There were a lot of unknowns. As we started going through it, it kind of simmered down. Then, obviously, about June, uh, things picked back up again because it became real. Clubhouse became real. Are you going to be ready? Is the clubhouse going to be open for that? Or when are they coming? How are ticket sales going to be? Where am I going to park? How are we going to, you know, so all that stuff starts creeping in. And then as we get closer and things started getting built, then think more questions come up of what is that? Where is that? Why are we doing that? You know, so it's probably in the aspect of 60 to 70 right now, questions a day concerning the tournament. But it's, it's all very good. It's all very exciting. And, and it just shows me that, you know, there are a lot of people excited about having the Simmons Bank Championship at Pleasant Valley Country Club. For those people that have not been to Pleasant Valley ever before or haven't even picked up a golf club but have heard about this event, why should they come see it? These are the guys that are playing in this event that are the best of the best. They're the best 54 players on the uh, PGA Tour Champions these are my idols growing up. Kind of the ironic thing is, is that the guys that were on tour 24 years ago that I was working at a, you know, TPC at Southwind are the same guys that are here today. So it's, we're all a little older, um, but for somebody to come out and enjoy the event, get to see these guys and really experience a PGA Tour event in the state of Arkansas, uh, it's something special to be a part of. Making sure the golf course is in its best playing condition 
is a responsibility of the golf course superintendent. And boy, does Pleasant Valley have a good one. On the tee, Don Armbrust. Don Armbrust, yes. the course superintendent here at Pleasant Valley Country Club. Thanks for joining me. And Certainly. I know you can see the light at the end of the tunnel coming with the Simmons Bank Championship, but what has the lead up, the build up from the announcement to now been like for you, the course superintendent? First off, it's exciting. Chris Mays and I have talked probably over the last 10 to 15 years where he'd come to me and say, so-and-so has piqued some interest from whatever tour of possibly bringing an event here, whether it was a one-off, whether it was a repeat event. And we've said, do you think we can do it? Do you think we can do it? And you know, a little over a year and a half ago, he walked into the office and did the same thing. And it was, well... If it happens, it happens. Because it, it, he's done it enough times that we've kind of blown it off. And then, sure enough, there was serious talk. And then obviously, as it gotten, uh, as it has progressed or progressed through the process, you knew it was going to happen. Obviously, the members, it's their club. PGA Tour comes in. They want to have it in pristine condition. How do you cope with what the members expect and then what the tour is going to expect here in a week or two? The tour, when they physically were on property whether it was leading into the announcement last August uh, or even when they toured the golf course, they said, we can work with this. And as they came back, as we greened up, they said, we can work with this. As we made the announcement, they said, we really like what's going on here. They have not come in and said, move a tee box or anything of that nature uh, that's extreme. Do we need to fix some scars? Absolutely. Uh, improve turf areas that are in highly uh, playable areas. If a miss occurs, yes, we have to fix those, uh, which in general the membership probably wants on their own anyway. Mm -hmm. So they haven't come in and demanded a lot of us. Now, after this year, as the players play the golf course and we get a little data to go with it, that may change. I don't see us in nothing. I don't think it's going to be extreme, but that may change. I know some of the tee boxes are basically off limits by where the tees were set. We have. And a lot of that is on the par threes mm -hmm. to kind of give the pros. Recovery right now. Yeah, that back tee box yep. to give them ample time to get fully healthy yes. by the end of October, correct? That's correct. We've moved tee boxes and we've moved markers up off of the uh, areas that potentially would be scarred from hitting an iron shot, that sort of thing. So... Um, currently it's not playing as long as it normally would, but I think that's okay this time of year. And everybody's been understanding of that. Occasionally we get someone that sneaks back there and just wants to hit from back there and that's fine. Uh, but for the most part, we've, we've moved the markers away from them. So people aren't using them up. A lot of times golfers think of green speeds and how fast or how slow a green is rolling. And that's something you deal with on a daily basis, Certainly. especially out here at Pleasant Valley. You say you've gotten these greens up to 15 at one time. That's pretty impressive. It's a challenge. Uh, it can't be done all the time. Conditions have to occur perfectly for that to, to happen. It limits our pinnable areas. We've actually had to go and move cups when things of that nature have occurred because the ball just won't stay in an area. So it's something we try to achieve, but we don't want the speed to get away from us. As a golf course superintendent, what's the ideal weather scenario for you? that you would like to see? Obviously, you can't control it. You have to adapt to it. But what would you like to see? An inch of rain the week prior and then nothing after that. And then 60-degree nights, 80-degree days will be perfect. As you look at what you have on your checklist, how much more work is there to be done? Obviously, a lot, I would think. Well, I think bunkers are the biggest thing leading into it. We've done a lot of work getting into it, whether it was sodding, uh, cart path renovation, that sort of thing. We're getting to the point where we're just trying to detail things out, uh, keep the rough maintainable, uh, at main maintained at a certain height, um, in check. Now we're going through and just trying to detail things out at this point. When people see this on the Golf Channel and they think, how can I get my front yard to look like that? Your response is? I get asked that constantly from members here at the club. <laughs> you try and give them an answer. But unless you can see it, feel it, uh, see it every day, 
how it's reacted through the different seasons, it's tough to give a easy answer or a one line answer. I don't know that a doctor would be able to do that. You know, I got a sore spot in my arm. Well, it could be a number of different things. Well, let's start checking things off the list. Uh, so uh, I'm out here every day, just about. But the biggest thing is seeing how the course changes from day to day, week to week, month to month, and year to year, and how the weather conditions and how things react. Uh, how the turf reacts and knowing what what's the cause there if you don't like it go stick a shovel in the ground see what's going on and then create a a program to correct it so that's what we've done here at pleasant valley well every time i've played out here don i mean the course is just always in fantastic shape and that's a testament to you and your staff thank you it's always phenomenal to come out here and, and play and good luck with the tournament greatly appreciate it thank you very much Hopefully it goes well. To bring in a tournament of this magnitude, you have to have someone who's a visionary. That is what George Mackers Jr. is. When he sat down with Glenn Day in St. Louis, Glenn Day talked about bringing a professional golfing event to Central Arkansas, and George Mackers Jr. and Simmons Bank helped make that happen. On the tee, the executive chairman of Simmons Bank, George Mackers. Well, Mr. Mackers, it's October now, and it seems like this tournament is – getting closer and closer and closer, and it is. Did you ever think we would get to this point? You know, reality just set in when I saw the build going up on the golf course, and it dawned on me, hey, this is really going to happen. And uh, William Clark came through like he promised he would, and this facility is just outstanding. So I think it's going to be a great first-year event. Uh, we're already talking about, you know, the second year. Next year we need to do this. Next year we need to do that. So – Ideas are flowing pretty freely right now, but this is going to be a great first-year event. I don't think, like you mentioned at the Media Day event, that there's not another place on tour where you can walk out on the back porch, if you will, veranda of a clubhouse and watch professional golf. We can't think of a single one. Uh, there are some great clubhouses uh, at some great courses, but – they're not in close proximity to the playing surfaces. So what we have here is an unbelievable opportunity to utilize the clubhouse as our premier hospitality area. We can share it with the players because of the way it's designed. They're going to have access to part of the clubhouse. Clubhouse ticket holders will have access to the rest of the clubhouse. So it's, it's a very unique circumstance on the PGA Tour, and we think it's going to be great. When you see the names roll in of players that are guaranteeing that they're going to be here, yes, I'm coming, what goes through your mind? Well, they're the players we grew up watching. Uh, they really are the legends of the game. We saw uh, videos during the President's Cup of a lot of those guys and their experiences there. They're going to bring those experiences and be glad to talk about them when they get here. Another. You know, while we have nine of the top ten, we have to remember that this is – you have to qualify for this event. So there's some that would love to come. Maybe they just haven't earned enough points to be guaranteed the opportunity. So they've got a couple more weeks to, to play and, and earn their way in. But for us to have the top 54 players on the tour is a very special opportunity. You mentioned the first tee is going to be the beneficiary. Why the first tee and why is it so important to give back to the game of golf this way? Well, obviously, uh, Mr. Stevens and uh, Warren has followed behind, has supported that program extremely well since its inception. And we just see this as an opportunity to support the game of golf here in Little Rock, especially for young people who may not be able to afford to be a part of a private club what Monica does out there and her staff is an unbelievable job. The facility is really, really good, and we believe that we can help take it to the next level. Uh, I mentioned Tommy May, who is our former chairman, plays in a, in a special cart. We would love to see uh, more emphasis on handicap accessibility to the game of golf because it truly has been uh, – something that Tommy could continue to do even with his disability. And that's extremely important. So we just think the first tee is a logical 
beneficiary of the tournament. I, I want to emphasize, though, it's not going to be the only beneficiary. Uh, it's the only one that we're prepared to announce today, other than Foles of Honor, which is going to receive 13 scholarships to give to Arkansas families as a result of our affiliation with them. So there will be others along the way, but First Tee seems the most obvious choice considering it is for the game of golf. And the Folds of Honor, I think it goes hand in hand with what that program does with the game of golf and how it's involved in the game of golf. And something, too, that you're working on getting an F-16 flyover of the golf course prior to play on Friday. That'd be pretty neat. That's what they tell me. I, I hope that comes to pass, yeah. You know, uh, we had the opportunity to meet uh, Lieutenant Colonel Dan Rooney several years ago. And with our family business, uh, through Anheuser-Busch, we've been involved with Foles of Honor for many years now. Uh, it's a great organization. They do a wonderful job. They're committed to the game of golf, so you'll see Foles across the country associated with other golf tournaments. It's just a natural fit for us. And when you want to highlight military and first responders, it's hard to pick out one group. But Foles represents them all, and it's a good opportunity for us to thank men and women who serve this country. When you wake up on October the 28th, what will be your first feeling of that day? Well, I hope I do wake up on the 28th. You will. I, I, I expect to be just a little bit tired, but it's going to be one of those good, tired uh, feelings. We are so excited about everything that's happening that week. Our pro-am party is going to be right here at Pleasant Valley, first big event that they're going to have. The governor was nice enough to invite the PGA to come to the governor's mansion on Wednesday. Uh, we've got a tailgate on Saturday. So there are ancillary events that will keep us busy the entire time. Nice thing about this tournament is that with 54 players, it's not going to be a 7 o'clock in the morning tea time. It's going to be closer to 9 probably, maybe even later than that. And we'll be through by 5. George, thanks for bringing championship golf to Central Arkansas and the state of Arkansas. Well, it's it's a team effort, and, and I tell you, it's something we're committed to at Simmons. It's not an individual's decision. It is something that we thought about for a long time to make sure that we were willing to associate our brand with a PGA Tour. It was affordable, that we knew what to do with the property once we got it. And I'll have to tell you, it's exceeded our expectations, so it's our absolute pleasure. Beachwood Pinnacle Hotel Group is the leader in the state in managing hotel properties. From El Dorado to Jonesboro to Fayetteville to Kansas City and back home in Little Rock, you will find a Beachwood Pinnacle Managed Hotel property. Are you looking for a weekend staycation? Book the Hilton Garden Inn located on Rock Street and enjoy the Agassi 7 Roof Top Bar with fantastic views of the Little Rock skyline. Open Sunday through Thursday evenings from 4 to 11 and Friday and Saturday from 5 to midnight. Find them on the web at bphotels.com. Beachwood Pinnacle Hotel Group. Strength is measured not by the number of accounts. Strength is placing value on relationships. It's having the vision and the guts to invest in growth. It's the commitment to responsibly manage your money. At Stevens, we believe that our strengths build success, not only for us, but for our clients. Stevens, member NYSE, SIPC. This is Justin Acri. If you have hip or knee pain, it's time to see the experts at the Orthopedic and Spine Hospital at UAMS Health. I've known Dr. Lowry Barnes for years, and he is a Hall of Fame surgeon who has operated on many Hall of Famers like Terry Bradshaw and Sidney Moncrief. He refers to Dr. Jeff Stambo and Dr. Ben Stronach as the best joint surgeons in Arkansas, and they all work at the Orthopedic and Spine Hospital at UAMS Health. Call 501-686-TOSH to schedule your appointment. That's 501-686-8674. That will just about do it for this edition of From the Short Grass, presented by UAMS Health, Orthopedics, and Sports Medicine. I want to thank Matthew Allen and Blair Allen, Beachwood Pinnacle Hotel Group, one of our great sponsors of From the Short Grass. Hey, if you're coming in for the championship, you need a place to stay. They have options all over central Arkansas. From downtown, midtown, you can find a place to stay to come watch some professional golf. General admission tickets start at $30, good for any day, or $75 for the full weekend. Don't forget, the Simmons Bank Championship, Friday 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday, October 25th, 26th, and 27th at Pleasant Valley Country Club. Remember, when you find your ball mark on the green, fix it and a couple of more. And I hope to see you at Pleasant Valley and From the Short Grass. You have been listening to From the Short Grass, presented by UAMS Health, Orthopedics, and Sports Medicine, a weekly podcast dedicated to the game of golf. This has been a presentation of the Buzz Radio Network in association with Majestic Cubby Productions.